here we go digging ourselves into the rabbit hole i think somebody i remember asked me a while ago what i thought about verlicify and i don't think i ever made an actual video in regards to him and no i'm not trying to make fame off his name no i am not trying to make money off his name you know i like making content just because i like making content and the more people watch the more subscribers i have you know maybe it's entertaining maybe it's not who knows anyways a lot of you guys who are in the Pokemon community and to a certain extent the Animal Crossing community knows who this guy is. Now I'm going to be really honest with you, the first time, the very first time that I got myself back into Pokemon in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, like a couple months before the end of Gen 6 and we moved forward to Gen 7, I actually did watch Verlicify's Fan Fridays, and for those of you who are his fans, or his subs, or people who have viewed him for a long time, you know what those Fan Fridays are. They're pretty creative videos of of subscribers and fans pulling off some crazy ass stuff with, you know, in doubles, or triple rotation battles back in the day. I, I don't recall what video it was, but the Fan Friday series, well, it was pretty cool for a person like me, who was brand, brand new, and I mean brand new into Pokemon. Little did I know was one once I started, you know, digging myself deeper into the community or the Pokemon fan base I should say. You know, there's a different Poketubers and it turns out this guy had a lot of problems or a lot of drama with other Poketubers. I'm not gonna say their names because at this point I'm not trying to start something or restart or can rekindle a fire. Everyone knows who this fight is and you guys know why. <laughs> now, after seeing his videos recently, I mean, we all know what he says about specific people in the VGC community and people who take a stance on Gen or Act Pokemon. My opinion on that, you guys already know what it is. I don't really care the way you play the game. I personally do not care how you play the game. I care more about your battle skills in a 1v1, 6v6 situation. That's all that matters to me. If you're good at battling, I respect you there. Simple as that. And I guess some people have been wanting to know my opinion on Verlicify. I think the biggest problem with, you know, knowing or being a fan of Verlicify is that you do, or you probably will get attacked via association. And what I mean by that is you know the reputation of this guy. And if you are a friend or you're a fan or subscriber, you know you might get a little bit of eyes twitching <laughs> in the Pokemon community fan base. Now, I do have to say, as for somebody who is a small Poketuber and I don't really have any reason to make a video like this, I would say this. In real life, if you respect others, I can respect you. As simple as that. You respect me, I respect you. You know, and truth be told, I think his opinions on certain topics are a bit of an overreaction or they're ov overly criti criticized for example the Pokemon Legends Arceus video which I actually uh, made a review video myself because I needed to get some opinions from other people and it's uh, pretty interesting it's pretty interesting oh yeah this one right here oh man <laughs> Pokemon Legends is the worst Pokemon game Jesus I mean Overly criticizing a game like Pokemon is not going to help you grow into a bigger person. It's going to put you in a negative perspective or, or a negative spotlight. And we don't want that. The the, I think the Pokemon community, they look for those idols, for those role models to look up to. Like, hey, you know, I've been following you because of so-and-so videos and all that stuff. When you become... Well, it's funny because when you criticize others especially with the reputation you have it may come off as toxic it may come off as uh, misleading it might be causing wars in a lot of chats my thing with that is hey there's no reason to bash anyone's opinions but you do have to tread the waters very carefully you just have to understand that people play certain video games differently than others. That's just the truth. It's 2022. This isn't 2006. This isn't 2010. Especially this is not 2014. 
well, there's a lot of social there's a lot of social media out there there's a lot of uh, Pokemon fans more than you can think actually by the way and we're not even beginning to to comprehend how many people play this game on a daily basis let alone in the entire planet but I will say this I personally do not have a problem with Felicify but because of his reputation and the people who I follow on YouTube or on Twitter they may not like him, and therefore it sounds kind of like a bandwagon kind of thing, but I might not like him because of his association or his reputation against other people, which kind of sucks because a lot of people view that way. And I'm not saying he's a, oh my God, he's a godly Poketuber. No, 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 no. Let's not, let's not get it twisted. I just think that his personal attacks, for example, his long history of personal attacks on Smogon, against VGC players kind of ousted him out of the community and I'm not gonna look at his subscriber numbers I'm not gonna look at his views oh my god his views has dropped down no 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 it's not about it's not about you know his channel it's about the person that he is I don't give a damn he's a furry it's been well documented that he may may not be a furry I'm mean, I don't know what the hell that even entails <laughs> but as somebody who is trying to rebuild or trying to build up a Pokemon community on YouTube it just doesn't help it definitely does not help when you have a specific view on certain things and you can have those views but you gotta think to yourself is that gonna help me is that gonna matter in the long run do people really give a shit do I really give a shit and you gotta think about that at the end of the day you make your own money on YouTube you make your content whether it's good or not that's up to you if you are overly criticizing one thing and you are overly attacking people who might not agree with your opinion, uh, you know, that's not a good look on you. At the end of the day, it is what it is. Some people will never change. You know, I've been, I, ha I wouldn't say I've been following Relisa 5 for six years or whatever, because that's not definitely true. Um, I only look at his videos when there's a blatant, like, Twitter attack or whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my opinion. We play Pokemon. Pokemon's fun for me, kind of. <laughs> We're technically in a dead period of Pokemon until Gen 9 comes out. But hey, Verlicify, you do you, man. Hey, um, you just gotta, you just gotta think about what you say. Now, you might be right on certain things, and you could be right on certain things. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just the way you present yourself. Like, oh my God, this guy's a cheater. This guy's a hacker. You're like, hey, you know what? Let Nintendo take care of that stuff, man. They're the ones, ultimately, who have the last word on things that need to be decided. Whether or not people need to get banned. Or how they run their games. That's on them. You can poke at the idea, but you're not the enforcer. You're not the person to tell Nintendo, Hey, get this guy banned, or this guy is cheating. Well, does Nintendo really care? Probably not, because they really haven't changed anything outside of BDSP. Uh cloned hacks but yeah that's my opinion on him guys have any interesting experiences with him let, let, let me see in the comments down below all right well there's my there's my video peace